in the last two lectures we have obtained the expressions of current gain voltage gain power gain input impedance and the output impedance in this lecture we will find out the overall voltage gain overall voltage gain and overall current gain we will start with overall voltage gain overall voltage gain overall voltage gain is represented by a subscript vs and overall voltage gain is defined as the ratio of output voltage to the source voltage output voltage is equal to v2 and the source voltage is equal to vs so avs avs is equal to v2 divided by vs i will multiply the numerator and the denominator by input voltage v1 so we have v1 divided by v1 or we can write voltage v2 divided by v1 multiplied with v1 divided by vs v2 by v1 is equal to the voltage gain the voltage gain is equal to v2 by v1 so the overall voltage gain is equal to voltage gain multiplied with v1 divided by vs you can definitely remember this form of the overall voltage gain in the next step we will find out v1 by vs and for this we need to refer this circuit the input impedance is equal to zi and the input impedance means we have impedance equal to zi here we can redraw this circuit we can redraw this circuit in which the source voltage is equal to vs then we have resistance equal to rs then we have the input impedance zi and using this circuit we will find out v1 by vs and you can clearly see v1 is the input voltage and it is the voltage across the impedance zi so we have voltage v1 across the impedance zi and let's say current flowing in this circuit is equal to i so by using kirchhoff's voltage law we have vs polarity of vs is like this so we have vs minus i r s minus i r s minus i z i equal to zero so the current i is equal to vs divided by resistance r s plus impedance z i the input voltage v1 is equal to i z i drop across the impedance z i and we have already calculated the expression of i which is equal to vs divided by rs plus z i so v1 is equal to z i vs divided by rs plus z i and uh, from here we can find out v1 by vs v1 by vs so v1 by vs v1 by vs is equal to zi divided by resistance rs plus zi now we will put this value here so the overall voltage gain avs is equal to voltage gain inside the bracket impedance zi divided by resistance rs plus impedance zi so this is the final expression of the overall voltage gain and if we consider the case of ideal voltage source this means vs is ideal then resistance rs is equal to zero and when this happens the overall voltage gain is equal to the voltage gain so this is very important point to note down the overall voltage gain is equal to the voltage gain when we have when we have ideal voltage source because resistance rs is equal to zero in this case 
now we will move to the next part of this lecture in which we will calculate the overall current gain the overall current gain the overall current gain is represented by a i s and to find overall current gain first we need to define it the overall current gain is equal to the ratio of output current to the current delivered by the source the output current is equal to i l and let's say the source is delivering the current i s so we have overall current gain a i s equal to the load current divided by the source current i will multiply the numerator by the input current i1 and i will also multiply the denominator by the input current i1 so we have i1 by i1 we can also write it as the load current il the load current il divided by the input current i1 multiplied with the input current i1 divided by the source current is the load current il is equal to minus i2 the load current il is equal to minus i2 so we have minus i2 divided by i1 multiplied with i1 divided by is minus i2 by i1 is equal to the current gain so we have ai multiplied with i1 divided by is which is equal to overall current gain you can remember this form of the overall current gain in the next step we will find out i1 by is and for this i will draw this circuit in which we will consider the source current is we have the source current is the resistance rs is connected in parallel with the source current this is how we convert voltage source to the current source the resistance rs is connected in series with the voltage source and you want to convert it to the current source then you have the current source and the resistance the resistance is now connected in parallel with the current source this is basic thing to do you can also convert the current source back to the voltage source the resistance is rs and we have the input impedance equal to zi this is zi current through the input impedance is i1 the input current i will use current divider rule and by using this i will find the current i1 current i1 is equal to is multiplied with resistance rs divided by rs plus zi this is using current divider rule very simple rule which you can follow and from this we can find out i1 by is i1 by is is equal to resistance rs divided by rs plus zi we will put this in this equation and we have overall current gain equal to current gain inside the bracket resistance rs divided by rs plus zi so this is the final expression of the overall current gain i hope you now understand how to obtain the expressions for overall current gain and overall voltage gain in case of ideal current source resistance rs is equal to infinity and when resistance rs is equal to infinity the overall current gain is equal to the current gain there is one more thing i want to explain in this lecture if you remember the last two lectures we encountered with delta h delta h is equal to h i h o minus h f h r we will try to prove this the first h parameter equation is v1 equal to h i i1 plus h r v2 the second h parameter equation is i2 equal to h f i1 plus h o v2 
we can also express the two equations in the matrix form and we have we have 2 by 1 matrix 2 by 1 matrix having the elements v1 i2 equal to 2 by 2 matrix having the elements hi hr hf ho multiplied with another 2 by 1 matrix having the elements v2 i1 let's say this matrix is matrix d this matrix is matrix i the d is bold capital d this i is bold capital i we generally represent the matrices by bold capital letters like capital a capital b etc here we are representing this matrix by capital d because these two variables are dependent variables and here we are representing this matrix by capital i because the two variables are independent variables i will represent this 2 by 2 matrix by small h i am just representing it by small h because we have to prove delta h equal to h i h o minus h f h r i will only consider this 2 by 2 matrix and we already know we can find out determinants of a square matrix only 2 by 2 is a square matrix so we can find out determinant of h which is equal to h i multiplied with h o h i multiplied with h o minus h f multiplied with h r minus h f multiplied with h r and the another representation of determinant is delta h so delta h is equal to h i h o minus h f h r so we have proved this and this is all for this lecture if you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section i will end this lecture here see you in the next one